The contingent of troops are said to be leaving Crimea and heading to their permanent bases in southern and western Russia. And Russia's ambassador to Ireland says in three to four weeks, troops in the west of Russia will return to normal stations. But there's caution on the part of western nations who have yet to see the evidence they need to confirm the start of the drawdown they've been calling for for weeks. US President Joe Biden said on Tuesday that Russia remains in a very threatening position. It was today that US intelligence reportedly predicted a Russian invasion. Overnight, Ukraine saw another major cyber attack against official websites, which Russia denies it had anything to do with, but there was nothing close to what was feared. Ukraine was always skeptical of that date, and its president, Volodymyr Zelensky, ironically arranged a celebration of national unity to be held today. Instead, residents have been playing the national anthem, have raised flags, and TV channels have been broadcasting patriotic speeches. Stuart Smith, SABC News, Moscow.